Hello everyone. This video tutorial I am making to show you how can we copy a program from Primera into Excel. Primera is a program. We develop the program and we can make the links and then we run the program to calculate the dates. In Excel we cannot do this all this thing. Otherwise we can do almost sort of thing in the prime in the Excel. But we need Primera the tool to calculate the floats duration uh, floats and the dates based on the assigned links. So why I'm uh, I'm uh, suggesting this one in Primera sometimes it is very difficult and it takes time consuming to open the program and then check the dates and if some some sometime your pro, uh, your manager project manager or planning manager or senior engineers they are asking some dates then it uh, relatively takes more time compared to Excel to open the program in Primera and then show the dates. And I, in addition to this, most of the people they don't have Primera software in their systems, so it is actually easy for them to use. So that's why, and it is easy for ourselves, for the planners also, to calculate some dates and make some calculation more easily than in Primera. So let's start. So this is our program. I, I have a program. I open the program now. In the program, you can see here we have activity IDs. We have activity IDs, we have uh, activity name, original duration, start, finish, budget, total cost, budgeted units, total float, and you can add more columns as per your specific requirements. To just illustrate you the method, I just show the I just shown here the major columns for the activity name, duration, start, finish, and budgeted and labor units. So now what you'll do, you can do it here. Just select the and just click anywhere and then press Ctrl A to select all the data and then press Ctrl C to, to, uh, to copy all the data. Uh, once you do this one, open Excel and copy the information there. Once Excel is open, select on the left mouse corner and press Ctrl V to copy the data from Primera into Excel. Once data is copied, just select again in the left mouse corner and press any vertical row for the columns it will open it will open the it will make extend the column widths as per the data inside it so we just make it shrink as per our requirements you can see here now we have the activity start activity id activity name original duration start finish visited the same column we make in primera the same column are in copied in excel now just for to reduce uh, to reduce the column uh, page width, I just make it here. For example, original duration, I make this rep text. So just select the original duration, make Control V, and go to alignment and press rep text. In this case, now if you shrink the column further, it will give you more duration here because more space here. Similarly, you can reduce the budget total cost, budget labor units. Also, you can reduce and then press you can press here and press control one and then again rep text similarly you can budget it labor units if you want to repeat the previous command just press function or shift f4 it will repeat the previous command see now it will open now you have more spaces on your left now just to make it more more good to see just make proper alignment so that it looks good to see you, to see that the information here. Once all the information are copied, now what is the concept? The concept is here is that we make some reference here, which is we call it as WBS. Okay. Then we have the original length. I will tell you what is original length mean. Then we have trim command and then we have revised length. Okay. The original length. If you see here, this this is our WBS name, concession program for the ledger facilities. It has it contains some information here. It has some length. How many characters are there? So first we calculate this original length. Okay. So before selecting the original length, just select the first. You just select the first column and press filter. Once filter assigned, then let's go here and remove all the select values and just select the blank values only. 
once all the blank select values are selected then come into original duration and press land command in the excel press land and then press control and left arrow to select the activity id name which is our wbs name and then press control enter it shows you that this construction program this program contains 50 characters including the spaces okay now trim trim command you know trim command we use to remove the initial spaces from a text in excel so i just press trim press tab and then press control and left arrow to select this one it will remove all the initial spaces then we calculate the length again length and then press the after trim it will give you 50 so it shows that in this item or this value there's no initial values now we have to calculate the wbs wbs is the original length minus previous line uh, or revised length plus one okay now this is our values j k l m n just we select this values when press control c press control and left arrow I press control down arrow it will take you the last value then control right arrow it will take you the right value then we are coming in j once you our values are starting from j so press control shift and up arrow it will take you the up value now once you select this one go here find a select and go to spatial and select only the visible cells only visible cells only then press ok now you press control v to copy the values now you can see here external gas supply system if you see this correct this value here you can see there's a lot of empty spaces at the initial so you go here you can see there's a lot of empty spaces here okay so when you go here in this value you can see the value original length is 68 characters once you remove this empty cell initially it will become 58 so you have 11 spaces initially so this is our all values we do like this and all values now all wbs values are calculated once all wbs calculated you go one by one all wbs and put assigned appropriate colors of your choice i remove this all first and then select first one and I select this value and press make this bold because this is our first value then you go to next value and then select this one and select this also then go to next value again and make this bold also then you go next value which is 5 Okay, there are a lot of value here just select all the values you have to select the visible cell only so visible cells you can go and find space special and you can go visible only from there as i tell you before or you just press alter and colon sign which are shortcut to select the visible cells only so from here you can go and select value and assign the font color then you go to next value which is 7 and then there's a lot of value here press, press shift control down arrow it will select all the visible well all the values and then alter and colon sign and you can assign a color okay then you go again to next value which is 9 remove the 7 a lot of value here also alter colon sign and you can select here again new value then you have to go to next value which is 11 select the values alter colon sign and then you can select this value then the next is 12 
think it uh, just stays not good to select very dark color as you're going down so you have to select color in from up to down up uh, you can select dark color and down as you are coming down you can select little light color so that it's easy for you to identify I hope there's no duplicate colors. Now you select all the values. Once all the values selected, remove this filter from here. Okay, and now you can see all the values are assigned. All the previous you put the colors now. Now you remove filter from here and you can see here the program is here all the values are assigned in appropriate WPS and you can easily identify the WPS now if you don't need these columns further I, I you can remove these filters and you can remove these columns no no more required okay and then you just select these uh, values some color here press control V to make it bold then press control shift right arrow then control shift and down arrow to select all the values just make one more and then press control 1 to go to the format cell option and assign the borders okay and this is our the main heading so just again control 1 Press some proper good border so that it will show that it is a heading. Now it's having heading done now. Now you have to select the project name, so just go up first and add one or two rows at the top to just to add the project name. As I told you before, if you want to repeat the previous command, press function F4, it will add the it will execute the previous command. Here I will write the project name project name is ledger facility for the citizens in the country okay once you select this one press, press control v and make this one little bit so that it looks good and make some good color normally i am like blue colors up to you you can select your color and make it merge okay now your program is ready if you see here you go down you can see the project name or, or everything going up so I, it's preferable if you go and freeze this one so if you freeze this one now you can see whenever you are moving up you can see what is the values there what is the um, purpose for example you know this all starts budget cost this budget labor unit so it's easy to identify now if you want to print this thing so just control p you can see this print option you can see this print option now here so you go again for the print command control p you can see this print command here okay you see this not all the columns shown so we'll go do it again for example here you go scaling and make this all the fit all the columns on one page okay then you can go page setup and just reduce the margin little bit so that it will be more visible and more clear to understand and you can put the page number so that it will get good impression anyone can read you can know what number is page number is not to confuse a person page this off this one just make this small the size because it's just a small reference it's not a main information it's just a supporting information to identify which page we are 
okay and now you can see page number eight pages but one thing if you notice all the other only the first page has the heading the other page they don't have the heading okay so we go again into excel and we go again to our home page and page layout go to page layout and then print titles and then select the rows to repeat at the top just select this one and then only this activity id and project name select and then press ok if you don't print option you can see on every page heading will be shown so when you print this one and give to your pm he will it will be easy for him to review and estimate the dates or check the date by himself he don't need to he will not run behind you and asking you always some dates so in this case he has every information with him and he can proceed accordingly and sometimes maybe you are busy you're not following with him so he has information to follow okay here and what is the other use is there for example if you have put filter here if you yeah, i put just assign a filter here in this filter if you want to see some specific information for example i have here for the advanced payment so if i put advanced here it will show you all the values containing the advanced value it's same like a filter we put in the primera that show all the activities with name containing the advanced so in this uh, the same filter you don't need to go and assign coding there in primera you just put small filter in excel and it will give you all the values related to advanced payments you can see here similarly it's up to you and uh, to your program it just contains some specific information you can go and show this specific information more easily than primavera and one more advantage is that the primavera software mostly project manager maybe they don't have it in their system so excel most of the people they have the excel so it's easy for them to uh, copy the program program in their uh, hard disk and review and follow the program so i hope you like this concept and if you like it please give me a thumb up and please like share and subscribe my channel and give me a support appreciation to make more good videos for you in the future thank you very much and see you next time